Hello, I'm Dylan Hinson with the Flojo product innovation team. And today I'm going to show you how to apply compensation matrices or how to access old compensation matrices. So the easiest way to apply compensation matrices is, you know, after you finish making it, there's like an apply button that most people probably use to apply their compensation matrices. But maybe sometimes we don't like the new matrix that we made and we want to go back to the old one we had, or we want to go see the acquisition defined one. Or maybe we want to compare our compensation matrices and see which one is the best. Well, we can do that in Flojo, but it's a little hidden. So the button to view your compensation matrices for a given sample is next to the sample's name. So this grid that you see here next to the sample's name, that grid has the compensation matrices. So it's showing what compensation matrix has been applied. If I double click on it, it's gonna open this window here. And in this window, I can see all the compensation matrices I have available in this workspace. So all the ones that are in this workspace. And I could apply any of these to this sample. Um, sometimes if, if the workspace has a lot of different types of samples, it might not be valid to apply a different compensation matrix to the sample because maybe they have different parameters, they were collected on different days, things like that. And Pelogia might tell you down here, it might say um, parameter mismatch if that wasn't valid. But these all work for it. This is the acquisition defined one that came with the sample. And these two are ones that I made. So what I can do is I can go ahead and choose the second one I made. And if I want to apply it to this sample, all I have to do is drag and drop this M onto the sample to apply it. And now you can see it's blue because it's for this blue second matrix. I mean, you can see the different values on the right here for the two compensation matrices, I guess for the three of them. All right, so maybe I want to apply it to my whole group now so that way they can all have the same matrix. Well, I can do that. Just drag and drop this little M in the brackets onto the group. And now the whole group has that compensation matrix. I can see because it's blue. All right, maybe I don't like this matrix though, and I want to go back. Well, that's easy. I can just choose the red one, apply it to the group. Now they're all red again. Or I can go back to my acquisition defined one, apply it to the group. Now they all have acquisition defined. If I want to compare my acquisition defined compensation matrix to the new one I made in Flojo, I can select them both either by using the shift button or the control or command key to select multiple compensation matrices. And I can see how they compare against each other. Here's them overlaid against each other and here's um, their values subtracted from each other. So it kind of shows the differences there. All right, that's a quick overview on how you can look at compensation matrixes in Flojo. See you next time.